April 20, 2020 will enter history books as the day when for the first time oil prices went negative, that is negative $37.63 a barrel. If you've seen my previous video on this topic, that I will link here, this doesn't really come as a surprise. In this video I will explain the reasons why this happened and I will also cover how you can profit from what's going on in the oil business, so make sure to watch till end. Just make sure to subscribe to support the channel and hit the notification bell, so you'll be the first notified when I release a new video. Without any further ado, let's see what happened on April 20, 2020. For the first time in history oil prices went negative. That basically means that some oil producers are willing to give you a barrel of oil and give you $37.63 to take it off of their hands. Regardless of the fact that Saudi Arabia and Russia agreed upon cutting oil production, as I warned before, the deal was not enough. That is due to the fact, that the price of oil, like in case of every other product or service is determined by supply and demand. Simply put, when a lot of people want to buy oil but there isn't that much available, the price of oil goes up. Vice versa, when you have a huge supply of oil but nobody wants it, then the price of oil comes down. Due to the spread of this new illness and hence lockdown orders people are not traveling and are not driving, and many companies have shut down, so demand for oil is very low at this point. Some of the biggest oil producers in the world, Russia and Saudi Arabia didn't want the price of oil to fall, so they met to discuss cutting the production of oil so there would be less supply. In the first phase Russia got mad and started producing more oil which made Saudi Arabia upset and they also ramped up production, which led to huge supplies. Many European, Canadian and US oil companies were hard hit by this. The reason is simple, when oil sells for $30 a barrel oil companies are worried, because they are not making money. When the price falls to $20 a barrel then oil companies are already thinking of bankruptcy, because they are losing a lot of money. Some reach the edge of bankruptcy which means they have to lay off people, and suppliers, who sell products to these companies are also affected. Given the situation Russia and Saudi Arabia reach a deal to cut production, but that wasn't enough, as I pointed out in a previous video. Supply is still huge, while demand is very low and this forced the price of oil down to negative territory. Now you are probably asking yourself, why would a company pay money to take the oil? The answer is that there's a cost to storing oil. Companies keep producing it, but have no place to store it anymore so they are willing to pay people to take it from them. Before Russia and Saudi Arabia agreed upon cutting production the lowest price of a barrel of oil was $10, so what we've seen on April 20th is history in the making. This could mean many oil companies will collapse and many people will lose their jobs. What could very well happen though is a bailout of these companies. President Donald Trump tweeted that he won't let these companies fail and no wonder, since it's election year and the president's biggest weapon so to say, is the strength of the economy. The big question now is how you can profit from what's going on in the oil business at this point. Before we get into that, you must note that I am not telling you how to invest, what I am about to talk about is my own opinion on the matter only. What we're seeing now is an oil collapse, that will probably not be long term. There is a very good chance that after lockdowns end, the demand for oil is going to rise significantly. Many companies still depend on oil, so they will have to buy up oil. Many companies might fail till then, but the ones which have cash saved up will probably recover soon. What you can do is invest in these companies, but before you do that make your own research about these companies' balance sheets and cash flow. A less riskier investment could be index funds, which have a lot of oil and energy companies in one place, so if one goes down you don't lose all of your investment. Nevertheless, since prices are historically low, investing in some tanker companies might also be a good idea, because they will likely see a spike in demand soon. Last, but not least, if prices go way down at gas stations, it might be a good idea to store some gas. This of course is not to be considered the greatest investment ever, but it might save you some money. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, 